Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, good morning How are you doing there? Hope you all are very well and far away from COVID-19 This channel is named as Sekolah Masendra Dila Today we gonna talk about total phenolic content And its determination in plants But before I continue the discussion, do not forget to support our channel. Please click the red button, subscribe, and like. Hopefully, this information is useful for you. Hi friends, do you know what is phenolic? So the phenolic or phenolic compound is secondary metabolite produced by plants, such as tea. So in the world, Many of people drinking tea as a their culture. Do you know that tea contain higher of phenolic compounds such as catechin, epicatechin, or gallic acid and other? These compounds are reported for antioxidant, anti-diabetic, and so on. In another hand, tea with its phenolic compound is very close to human body and thereby very important. As phenolic compound is very important, here is the question, how to measure total phenolic content in tea extract? Here, there are quantitative or with folin CO calcium method and also with qualitative method, such as with chemical reactions. But today we're gonna talk how to determine total phenolic content with pollen seocultive method. So here is the materials. I use extract of Indonesian tea. This is the preparation of sample. I decide to make 1000 ppm of concentration sample. So here, about 5 mg of tea extract is weighed and the extract is then diluted with 5 milliliter of methanol so I got 1000 ppm the next preparation I need is pollen seocalteo region with 10 times dilutions here I took 5 milliliter of FC regions and then the 5 milliliter is reacted with 45 milliliter of distilled water or 10 times dilution was made the next uh, material is 7.5% of sodium carbonate so here about 7.5 gram of sodium carbonate then I dilute with 100 milliliter of distilled water the next is the protocol the protocol is very easy. Here we can say that about 0.5 milliliter of sample with 1000 ppm concentration reacted with the 2.5 milliliter of FC region. And then the reaction is stood for 2 minutes. After 2 minutes incubation, the solution then is mixed with 2 milliliter of sodium carbonate and then incubate it again for 30 minutes then finally the reaction is read at 765 nanometer by UPPs then don't forget friends to read the blank also the blank is made with the same procedure without extra so here the result we can see here this is the sample the sample have dark color while blank this is have white color or clear color so we can measure this sample and the blank in this machine at 765 nanometer the blank firstly inserted and then we can measure the sample here is the result the absorbent of sample is 0.6 and then this is the result of the tea extract absorption 
and then we need to make calibration in this case I use gallic acid calibration so gallic acid solution is made for different concentrations I made from 1000 500 250 125 62.5 and finally the lowest concentration is 31.35 ppm I measure from the same procedure with the total phenolic content previously so this is the result of gallic acid calibration so we can see here the color of 1000 ppm is very dark and then decreasing to the lower concentrations here we can see the 31.25 concentration ppm so the white color it means maybe the reaction of phenolic content is very very low so let's see the absorption of the absorbent at 765 we can see here the absorption the absorbent of 1000 ppm gallic acid concentration saw 2.53 and 500 ppm saw the lower abs absorbent and lower and getting lower such as the lower of the gallic acid concentration and then after we get these values we get information we can make the cup of gallic acid and absorption here the result the r square equal 0.99 or close to 1 while the y equal 389.92 x plus 13.983 so we can measure the total phenolic content of t extract by this equation let's continue guys so this is the calculation of total phenolic content y equal 389.92 x plus 13.983 we can see here we have to put the absorption absorbent of the sample x as the absorbent of the t sample so the t absorbent is 0 0.6 so we can put the x as 0 0.6 so 389.92 by 0 0.6 plus 13.983 so here the result so the y equal 247 or 248 ppm this is the explanation guys the total phenolic content 248 ppm this is the gallic acid equivalent in 1000 ppm of sample in other hand we can say 248 milligram gallic acid equation per gram sample of the extract and the conclusion in one gram of the extract there is 248 milligram of phenolic so this is the conclusion guys i hope this is very important for you and thank you for coming to our channel please do not forget to like subscribe and comment in below well thank you very much terima kasih maturnuwun wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh